first club Magdalena opened in February 2012. The new location opened in February 2016. Hinter Magdalena stehen eigentlich drei Freunde. Das sind äh, Christian, Jörn und ich. Ja, und eigentlich sind wir schon eine große Familie. Magdalena is a club where the music is the main thing. Now we love to be known uh, in the world to be a statement uh, for the techno culture. We are really serious about sound. Und wir trennen das immer mit den Styles im unteren Bereich eher Techno und im oberen eher Tech, Deep House. Wir hatten jetzt auch schon seit der Eröffnung große Namen wie Marco Bailey, DJ Rush, George Morell, Christian Smith. Das Besondere an Magdalena ist jetzt aktuell ähm, die neue Anlage. Also das ist jetzt ein ganz großer Anteil daran. Deswegen kommen viele Leute her. It's just about dancing, it's about music, it's about Berlin Techno, especially the room downstairs. You can't sit anywhere, you can't, there's no bar in here. It's different to any other club. It's a very uncommon experience uh, to have a room where it's purely dedicated to sound. You really have the full scale of the system working in a, in a room. You're not determined by where there's bar staff working in this area, your level has to be 95 dB. If you've got a room which is purely for dancing, the focus then is pure sound. The rewards from that for the club owners and also for, for the clubber, the experience they're going to um, engage in is going to be somewhat different to, you know, to anywhere else. Also, we had with our technicians a long time to figure out what we can do in the new Laden from the music anlage here. We want to be different. How can we be different? We don't want the, the club sound to be like in other clubs we know, where you can mix your own sound by walking around. We want full coverage. You have to feel the same sort of energy and warm sound everywhere. And then we came up with the idea of using Pioneer Sound System, the new one, the big one. The room isn't really excessively large, but a detailed brief from the club owners himself was purely expressing that the sound has to be even all the way around the room. My initial thoughts was a six-way system would have been more than ample for the situation. But having uh, said that, looking around at the doorways and the entrances to the room, it certainly was a clear brief from that point that we knew we were working with eight stacks um, and obviously enhancing the front area from the DJ console. This sound system is about power, but it's also about the, the functionality of what the Magdalena Club wanted. It's open its doors on Friday and closes its doors on Monday and a sound system which is extremely loud, blaring out um, full tilt all the way through, the clubber is not going to be physically able to withstand that. So the kind of key target here was having a, a sound system which had full of energy, but equally was very easy in a fatiguing stage. The Magdalena Club, the installation includes eight GS Wave stacks, four GS Wave subs, two which are installed side by side in front of the DJ console, two at the rear of the room separately located, and also two suspended acoustic lenses, one in front of the DJ console and one at the rear. And also eight tweeter pods hung above the dance floor. DJ console features four XY122s and two XY218 subwoofers. It's a real luxury in a way that we had an opportunity to work with the owners of the club and the sound system at the same time, opposed to here's the finished room, what sound system should I buy for my club? When we took it on, it was uh, just a beautiful building from the outside. So we stripped the building totally from the inside and concreted the uh, uh, columns and the floors back in. There was a particular attention paid um, from the club point of view about sound spillage. And also they wanted to contain the energy in the room. So it was very apparent from the beginning that we needed to work as much as we could on acoustic absorption in the room. We had to close window gaps. We have a soundproof installation uh, on the walls. Excessively large tiles were added to the walls. Added to that was lack draping. And then finally there was these layered slats which are diagonally angled down to try and contain the build-up from LF on the back wall. So it was a very, very well executed and delivered room before the sound system even was put in place. I wanted to achieve this sort of pear-shaped sound feeling. Several weeks we did this tuning. In terms of when I was measuring the system to do the delays, the cancellation spots, we were using different captures of different areas to see where we could uh, work and, and positioning of speakers, but that was really done by ear, by with the DJs and different style of music. You have to kind of rewrite the rule book somewhat. So the four stacks plus the acoustic lens at the front of the console and the one at the rear um, actually become the sound system. The ones in the corner are obviously a part of the sound system, but these are almost like using as excessively large fills. We noticed that that was the best way to really solidify the sound and the energy in the right places. It's made a techno sound system. 
uh, when you have people uh, entering the room for the first time, uh, our technicians play with them, put on the uh, PA, but without bass. And then they, okay, ah, they're wandering around, so wow. And then we turn on the bass and like, wow. Ich war überwältigt, kann man sagen. I really was crying. All answers were there. The questions are all answered. If you're a DJ and you really want a perfect situation, then you should come here and play here. Also egal welcher Künstler hier spielt, der findet es einfach nur, die finden es alle nur wahnsinnig. Especially uh, the DJs, which are more into sound and technique. Für mich uh, klingt er eigentlich genauso, wie ich es wollte. Ich beschreibe das immer gerne so mit dem warmen Bass und uh, trotzdem druckvoll und klar. Also die Anlage ist sehr ehrlich. When the technicians uh, play on the knobs back there, you have such a bass pressure that you can't even light a cigarette. Mm, ja, also wie schon erwähnt, für mich als Künstler ähm, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen, ist das halt Einfach eine der besten Anlagen, auf der ich je gespielt habe. Und uh, now you can walk around the room and on any inch of the room you have the same amount of sound. Kommt einfach egal, wo man im Raum steht, also es ist egal an welcher Ecke, es klingt immer gut. It was a lot of work to reach uh, that point. Installing and turning and changing and the result is lasting. Yeah. In some particular clubs you can walk into and go, oh my word, it's absolutely amazing. The, the SPR was so loud, but last that person in an hour's time had a feeling and they'd probably be outside that room because they just can't withstand that sheer volume. Of course, that's something we just couldn't do with Magdaleno. That's not what the club's about. The sound is extremely powerful, but you can still feel comfortable in the six to seven hour period you're going to be remaining in the room for. Powersoft is definitely a key part of this whole process. The K-series particularly enables us to really produce sonically clear high frequency levels without the distortion in the amplifier, thanks to the DSP on board. The amplifiers used at Magdalena were three K20 DSPs, eight K10 DSPs, 10 K2 DSPs, and two M28Q M-series amplifiers. When you're using the Ammonia software, it kind of really makes it very easy to adjust to the EQ parts for different amps and different areas of the sound system. It's as you expect it to be in the world of audio. Everything's at your fingertips. We really utilize the IR filters inside the amplifier itself. You're able to monitor the amplifiers like at every stage. We're able to log into the amplifiers online. We can actually see the amplifiers working. If there's anything gone wrong, we get notified by an email or text message. So we can be straight on the case with the club, which is a great feature. Our boxes are um, voiced to using these products. All of the features inside the Powersoft K-Series amplifiers joined with the GS Wave system. They really kind of worked hand in hand in terms of the smoothness of the installation. All of the Powersoft amplifiers used in the system help to maintain a powerful, consistent sound. With such a small unit and being Class D, the amplifiers can just handle so much power, but yet the current draw is so minimum. We have huge amps, we have loads of speakers, but the consumption is really low, they are barely on. Has the power there to produce that level, but we're never gonna have that running. The idea why that power's there is because it needs to maintain a comfortable level. If the system was working at 80, 70% for that whole time, the heat build up in the amplifiers is never gonna continue the same quality of sound, but if it's only working and idling at 25, 30% of its capacity, the consistency of the sound is not gonna change throughout the night or for the 24 hours. It has its cost implications in the beginning, investing in a, in a system which is only going to run at 30%, but you can run that system maybe five to six years longer. We uh, wanted a modified version of the subs so that we can like link subs together so that we can use larger uh, amps for more bass speakers. It was done in a way so we still had the same level of control, but a configuration uh, was done so it really, really did save them quite a lot of money. And then we came up with the idea we need the grill at the subwoofer. We thought of bottles or glass going in there and destroying speakers. And this grill was actually something we welcomed as a fixed part of the new GS Wave system. We're listening to what customers have said, taking it on board for future GS Wave products. Very, very pleased with how people have engaged and reacted to a system, particularly in Berlin, where um, it's quite critical of sound. We've exceeded all of our expectations from that point. You won't find a, another room in Europe or the world that is filled with this energy and this is really special. I honestly believe that there's nothing quite like this, an eight stack system in any nightclub in the world. So if you're ever available to come to Berlin, you need to really check it out because it is somewhat of a totally unique experience.